Hello and welcome to part 3 of my beginner series for Sony Vegas Pro 11. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you some of the options that the text media generator comes with in Vegas Pro 11. Now to access the text media generator, all you have to do is right click on the timeline and insert a new video track. Next, go to insert and click on text media. Now there's a few noticeable differences between the Pro 11 text media generator and the previous version of the text media. It allows you to scale down or move the text around onto the preview screen without having to access your text media generator window. Now on to changing fonts. Over here, if you click on the drop down menu, you can click on different fonts. However, you must highlight the text in order to change the font. Sony Vegas Pro 11 now allows you to change different fonts within the same text window. So if you highlight a specific letter or text and then change the font, it will allow you to change the fonts for any specific part of the text. Now on to the text color. This is pretty self-explanatory. All you have to do is get this little cursor and move it around to change your colors and there's a little color shader on here. Now this option I'll explain a little later. Another new part of the text media generator in Pro 11 is the animation option. So if you select an animation, play through, it's going to animate your text. Now the animation duration depends on the duration of the text media generator. So by default, the text media is set to 5 seconds long. If you change it to 10 seconds, it will allow you to drag out the text media generator or extend it to about 10 seconds. If you go past the 10 seconds, it will have this little break or this little gap right here. That will tell you that it's starting an entirely new text media generator. So you play it through and then go forward. Extend. The animation is going to play through again. Also, the scale option. You can also access the scale just by clicking on your preview screen and clicking on these boxes to so drag it out or drag it in. If you go to location, same thing. All you have to do is click on the cursor and click and hold and drag it around to move it around your screen. You can also do this onto the preview screen. Now onto the advanced option. So you're probably wondering what this little checker box is. And this is called an alpha channel. And what an alpha channel is, is basically you have a text and the text media generator is set to an alpha channel by default. So in this case, if I insert an image or a video clip, then only the text is going to appear in the background is going to be transparent. Now we can also do this for the text. So if you change the background to a different color, and in order to change the color of the background, you need to get this little scroll option, make sure it's set all the way up, and then change your color. So go back to the text option, and bring down this little scroll option, down all the way down. And the image is going to appear on the text. And this will only work if your image is at the bottom of the text track. So if you place an image on top, that will allow you to have transparent text or background. Now on to tracking. So tracking is basically the spacing between each individual letter of your text. So if you increase it, it's going to increase the space between your letters. If you decrease it, it's going to decrease the space of your letters. Also, if you have two lines of text, such as this one, if you increase the line spacing, it's going to obviously increase the spacing between the two lines of text. Now on to the outline option. So the outline is basically a text outline around your text. So if you increase the outline width option, it's going to have a different color outlining the existing text. You can also change the outline color by clicking on this little box and make sure this is set all the way up and now you can change the color of your outline. On to the last option called shadow and this will enable shadow for your text. So if you enable the shadow, 
by clicking on this. It's going to generate a shadow according to your text. You can also change the color of your shadow by accessing the color options. And you can change the location of the shadow by increasing or decreasing shadow offset X or Y. So the shadow offset X, if you increase it all the way to the right, it's going to go to the right on the X axis. If you change the Y offset, it's going to change it according to the Y offset, which is up or down. And you can also change the blur of the shadow. So if you increase it, it's going to blur out your shadow more. And now on to the animation options within the text media generator. Now by animation, I don't mean by this animation right here. You can't control how fast or how slow this animation goes, but you can control the animation of several components of the text media generator. So for example, if you want to change the color of the text, say from blue to red, what you need to do is click on this little button called animate. And by default, it's going to set a keyframe at the very beginning of the text media. Now, if you want it to start changing at about 5 seconds, go forward on 5 seconds on this little timeline. Add a keyframe. And if you want it to change slowly, just go forward a little bit. And then go to the text color box and change the color. So if you preview it, color is slowly going to change to red. So that's the end of this tutorial for the text media generator in Sony Vegas Pro 11. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you have any more suggestions, please post a comment on the video or send me a message and I will see you guys next time.